Okay, in this lesson, uh, we want to import our uh, platform that character move on it. This is, as you can see, we have two object manager. We have an object, there are uh, reference. When you insert <coughs> your desired platform, it come here and you can insert it anytime here that you want. And when you insert anytime, as you can see, they are added to the object manager and you can delete them. <coughs> if you go to other scene or a stage, the object that are exist in that scene appear here. Okay, as you can see, this is a dynamic object manager and show the object that uh, used in scene. Going to the start, this is our start that want to start from here and import our desire <coughs> platform. As you can see, we have two settings. When you click on object in a scene, we have a special settings here that I explained you. When you click in a ref reference of platform, here we can also another. Okay, delete that. We insert our uh, ground here. Okay, here are, I have lots of backgrounds. I want to insert that background or ground here. This is, as you can see, it's a tileable and repeat and repeat. You can repeat. Okay, simply click and drag on the scene or you can add object here. I prefer to click and drag and insert it as an object. Okay, insert as an object. Insert it as an object and it's come in the scene. It goes here as a reference and you can insert it, insert it at any time that you want. They are go here, it's a ground. If you click on that, you can select uh, some sitting on it. You can select, you can stretch it, as you can see. You can change the scale, you can change the rotation as before, and you can change the opacity here. Those sitting we are not need now, this, this is just a fixed object that want character walk on it. So the important preset about that, here is a platform. We have all kind of, we have some kind of uh, object, important object is pl platform, means the things that the character and enemies or anything walk on that. This is not physics, it's the fixed object. We have, if you want to <coughs> collide with something, you have to make it the physics object. When we, you want to turn it to the enemy, uh, you can you can select it enemy. When you select it as enemy, when the character hit that with die, you can set it enemy bullet, character bullet, decoration or wheel. Just this, listen, I want to make it the platform, bring it here and the character walk on it. Okay, bring it here, up, exactly. Uh, and uh, here, another settings are very easy. Here, if you click that on a reference, you can change important settings. Here, you can change the names, you can change it to ground. As you can see, all of the settings that here change, it change name here. This is a reference. Any any changing in this reference will be affect all of the object that insert in scene. Select on that, and we have an important things called collision shape. Before I want to uh, copy and paste them here, the build box has a very interesting copy and paste system. Go on in the keyboard. When you want to copy something to the right, you have to click D, D in a keyboard and it's automatically <clears throat> snapped you and a snap and copy. If you want to uh, copy the left A, A, if you click it, if you want to copy up W, if you select the desired number, desired object, and when you want to copy it in a down S, S. As you can see, we have a lot of ground here, but one reference here. You can hold in shift and oh, hold in control. No, just control all of them here and delete them. We insert again and place it here and D, 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 D to copy that. This is our start scene. I, okay, I play uh, before that. Okay, just play with something happened. Okay, that's right. As you can see, the character 
bring the fall down and touch the ground correctly because the collision of that is correct. Important thing about the object that you insert is a collision. Collision, the software understand the object with its collision. Select the reference, going to the collision shape and edit. I will explain the shape editor more, but it's very easy. As you can see, this is <clears throat> our collision object. You can change the collision area by changing that dots. As you can see, and this is our object collision here this is our object that this orange area the understanding uh, the software understanding the object with this area so we have to fix on uh, the object that we uh, import and make it the collision correct i make a collision higher like this and you can sh uh, sh understand it's different for example here the software understand this area and the object will collide with this area close it and uh, when you click uh, active debug here you can see the collisions this is a collision of the the red area the collision of the character and those are the collision of the um, floor if you play your character cl collide here like this going play and as you can see, a very interesting, very bad issue will be happen. As you can see, we cannot touch the ground because the collision of the ground are higher than object. For fixing that, we have to select the reference, the object that will import this ground going here, sh collision shape and make this. For make the accurate and the straight and nice collision shape, we have two more collision shapes. Just select between circle and then go back to polygon. It will be correct for you. I will be explaining more in this window, but you can active and deactivate again to make it. And everything is right now. The debug mode is very important. And when we play, it's correctly going here. <clears throat> if you go in here and we have uh, to <clears throat> prepare a stage number one. We're going to the stage number one, delete all of them. And here ghost of the character that has start. You can uh, place the <coughs> character here to uh, better assign, better inserting your ground here. You can see grounded here to fix it. Okay. Another setting of the ground is default animation. This is a default animation. We don't need that. This is because for this animation is need for enemy and the other uh, setting we don't need now. Just we want to <clears throat> display default animation. You can insert a still image that has no animation or you can uh, insert a GIF uh, um, image sequences to the uh, software. It's very interesting. Look at here. I have download from internet and free uh, image sequence. As you can see, the image, this image sequence, we need image. If you play, this is the image sequence as we have a GIF. Okay. For inserting or importing the GIF or image, image, image sequence like this, that uh, simulate the uh, wave. Uh, water wave and we have to select them all you can simply click and drag all of them as a sequence the software will be collect them and combining them to the and one animation little animation that repeat and repeat like gif so the software need uh, image sequence to make a gif from that this is all a png you have to design it in order to desire to the animation but select them all and click and drag as an object and as you can see insert as an object and you can holding shift and resize it and insert it here <clears throat> and you can hit d d d d for make a water here to a stage number two as you can see it's in insert as a reference here we have all of you we can change the name with the water and see that 
every every name and the this stage will be changed and when we go to the start we have another uh, object when we go to stage one we have other settings and object manager and here's your, your reference and when you click on this pencil or pen here we are going to the animation editor i explained them more in the future but here you can play it we have our gif that make it build box is awesome so going to the collision the collision is correct let's fit the object and here we go to the up play game and going to the stage number one as you can see we have a beautiful uh water wave here that to our gif so we are playing a gif here make it from image sequence so you know now how to insert uh, animation animation gif animation image here so you can insert animation or gif and okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release